Welcome to the channel. Today is the fifth day of Dogtober. And for those new subscribers or people just dropping by, what I do is every October I dedicate the entire month uh, to a dog rescue. They get every stitch of revenue I make from my videos, which I put up once a day on both of my channels. My other channel is The Dog Man. It is a podcast channel. Link in the description for that. Uh, and at the end of that 30 days, uh, whatever the ad revenue, memberships, uh, any of that goes directly to the dog rescue. They get 100% of it. Uh, you know, rescues are always seeking donations. Uh, it's very difficult uh, raising funds for dog rescue, so I try to help any way I can. I used to be involved in the physical part of the dog rescue. It got too hard on me. So I do, you know, I can help in other ways than I will. Uh, that is another point. I still have memberships, guys. If you would like to buy, I've got them cheap, really price. I know when I was going to quit doing YouTube, I, I lost my members uh, that I had. But I would appreciate it if you would come back and some of you might consider being a member. Uh, I don't do a whole lot as far as extra videos, but maybe I can change that in the future. So memberships are available, uh, and, th and that also, the revenue for October will go for to the dog rescue. So today, you know, we can't work on the chicken pen. Uh, I'm waiting on netting. That won't be here till Monday, so that may not even be till Tuesday, Tuesday's video where you see that. But I thought I'd bring you in and just kind of show you what I do. Now, most of you who've been watching a while know that I built this specifically to run lasers. And I have three lasers, three diode lasers, 20 watt, that I can print on all kinds of materials. And I'm very new to it, so I just kind of wanted to bring you in here today. And just this is not an ad, uh, revenue, this is not a uh, review for any product. Although I should be doing one on that last one, but I don't think they're going to uh, disapprove of me showing their laser before I do the review. So what I got is I've, I'm going to pull up a few files. We're going to print on some different materials. I could just kind of go over how it's done for those of you that have never seen one operate. And I am running everything here off of solar power generators. Uh, there is no electricity in this shop except for the lighting and the air conditioner, which I probably will remove today because we're not going to need it. And so everything is powered, the, all the lasers, the computers, everything is powered by the solar generators. And they do an excellent job. Uh, that one has been going four days running lasers and it's at 44%. And the rest of them will do about the same. I got smaller ones to power the computers and fans, the exhaust fans, and I've got bigger ones to power the lasers. Uh, and they don't pull a whole lot of wattage. And they're not difficult to, there's just a lot to it, but it's not as difficult as you might think. So um, there is a website, Louisiana Hobby Guy. I'm going to give him a shout out. He's been doing this a lot longer than me because I ain't been hardly been doing it. But he's got art files you can download if you join his forum. You can download for free. He's got cut and engraved files that make it very simple. Once you put the material in, you pull it up in the library. It already has the settings in there. You may have to tweak it a little bit, but it's pretty much there. So I've just got done downloading his cut and engraved. So we're going to try out. This is a, I don't know if you can see, this is a wolf. Let's put some cardboard in there and print that real quick, see how it looks. And then I may go to, I've got some uh, thin plywood back there. The stuff ain't cheap, but I'm willing to use it to learn. So let's get, let's get going on this and uh, hang out. This is going to be fun. All right. Nice thing about having lasers. You don't have to throw away all the packaging that you get from Amazon or wherever else. I've been saving the cardboard. So uh, I mean, this isn't something, this is just for practice. Uh, I'm probably not going to save anything I print on this cardboard. So I'm just going to try to get some square pieces. Yep. Going to scratch up. 
need to order a paper cutter. You know, one of them things we had in school that make it a lot easier and I won't be cutting into my bench. Oh, tape. Oh, wow. oh. All right. Let's just square this up a little bit so we can throw it in the machine. The workbench ain't a workbench unless it's got scratches and cuts. It's gotta look used. Hey now. That's a good looking piece, sir. Well, if you can put art on waste cardboard, hey, you're saving room in the landfills is what I say. Alright, this is this doesn't have to be perfectly square. You just need it semi-square. There's one we'll do for one laser. And let's just get over here, cut this dude in half. I got better knives, I just don't know where they are. They've been all spread out everywhere. You just square them up. And that's what we need right there. So we got two pieces, we'll get two lasers going. Oh, that ain't it. This is it. About all you need. All right. Now I just ordered a two foot LED. It's just a little strip light. And I taped it on the frame of this because you got to have light in here. So I'm going to set this about dead center of this. And you got these little tabs that you stick through the honeycomb that helps hold the cardboard down. So we're going to just stick these down where they don't move. And that should be good and now I'm gonna go ahead and set up the laser on the computer let's go ahead and turn it on you're fired up now you can hear the computer recognizing it over there all right let me get it set up and we'll come back and run it all right, with get, without getting into all the details of how to do this, because if you get one, you're going to have to learn like I did. Now, I've got the image pulled up here in light burn. Okay, now I've got this. This represents this bed here. Okay, and I've got this centered in there. Now, I've got my laser. Uh, we're going to go ahead and frame this out. Click frame, and you'll see a laser beam down there. See it? Showing me where it's going to print. So I know it's going to get on the cardboard, and we know that we're good there, so let's go ahead and hit start. Come over here on light burn, hit start, and the job will begin. And I'm going to have to shut it up and turn the fans on. Because it gets a little smoky if you don't. All right, let me turn this one on. And I don't have the fans plugged in. Boy, I was ready. Let me get these plugged in and I'll come back. All right, we got the fan on. As you can see, it's wasting no time going to town. So while this is printing, this shouldn't take very long. While this is printing. Boy, it's nice having his recommended uh, settings because that looks really good. Let's go ahead and set up the McPow and get something going on it. All right, this one is done. That only took a few minutes. And when you're doing like engraving portraits, it, it could take a while. But stuff like this, it just depends on the settings. And this is how it came out. Get these up. You know, I bought a whole bag of these, 100 of them. Brought them in here, don't know where they're at. And that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. So I just took a piece of waste cardboard, put a scribbling on it. All right, we've got this one set up. He's got military files, so I pulled one of them up. I added some text, and I have the cardboard placed in there. We're going to go ahead and hit start. Let her go to town. Uh, let me get back on my laser and start. And now this one's going. These things are a lot of fun. We'll give that a minute. Let's go ahead and set one up on the new one and with the new computer. 
All right, I'm gonna give you a quick example of how I'm going to print a picture that I downloaded off the internet. I'm gonna go ahead and import it. And let me get my glasses on here. Okay, I found a picture of a 66 El Camino. Now you can see the picture as it uploaded, it's bigger than the bed, so we want to reduce that. And let's get that here in about in the center. And you can always scroll up with your mouse to make it bigger to see what you're doing. Now there's a button here, I can move to center of page, that way I know it's center. And that way my laser will find center when I go to do it. But we cannot, you could print it just like that, but that's not how we're going to do it. We're going to right click, adjust the image, and you'll see it comes up over here. And you can mess around with the contrast. And you, any of this you see here, that's going to print. So we don't really want that. So we're going to try to move the contrast until that's pretty much white. Now I think I'm going to leave a little of that floor because that, that kind of looks cool. And adjust the brightness. Oop. And that looks good there. We'll take the gamma down. Just a shade. And that's how you do You just play with it to get the best looking thing. We're going to enhance this a bit. Alright, that looks good there. And we can also scroll up with there. Now you can see here I got a lot of shine that ain't on this. So we're going to have to go play with the contrast again to get rid of that. I don't mind a little bit of it. Okay. Let's see if we can mess with the brightness. There we go. Now we still got a little bit of that in the top there. That ain't too bad there. Let me see if I can get rid of that with something else. Uh, let's okay, and I got a pick. See, I got it in grayscale. I want this in Jarvis. Now, see how much better that shows up? So we let's go ahead and readjust it. But we still got that white spot on the hood. You know, it's just something you got to play with. We don't want that printing. Turn up the brightness. That's too much. I'm trying to do this with a mouse. Alright, let me get this right and then I'll come back. Alright, I think I got it where I want it. There's the original. And that's pretty clear there. It's got a little bit of shine on there, but it should come out fine. So now we're going to click OK. Everything's set. Now I'm going to right click save as processed bitmap. We're going to call it, let's just call it El Calmino. And then we're going to save that. And then we're going to delete this dude. Now we're going to go find that file. Should be in my downloads, I think. I don't know where it is. Where'd it go? Documents. And if it's in here, it'll be the only one. Let's see, there it was. Okay. Now. Well, I don't need you to come up. Let's see, let me try this again. Import. Did I ever do that? Import. Documents. El Camino. There we have it. Now, let's gonna let's see. I'm printing this on a 12 by 12 tile. Let's scroll back down. Let's center it. Let's do this first. Right click, trace image, and there's the trace. Okay. Now we're gonna pull this away. From the, I, did you hear me, computer? I said, well, it's not responding. Why? Why? 
We wait till it responds. You're going to pull it away. You're going to save the trace. You're going to get rid of the bitmap. Let me wait till this catches up. Okay, so this was on top of here. I pulled the trace away. Now this is the bitmap. We're going to delete it. And you can move this into the center. We'll go ahead and center it. Move to page center. Now we're going to frame it out, see how close we are. And we're not. Okay, so we need to make the image much taller. Alright, we need the heights to go up. We can't go any higher than the width. Okay, the height's only five inches tall. And what you can do is unlock this and move them separately, but I don't know if it's going to stretch the image. Which it probably will. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to leave it. Let's see what we got. I don't really want to waste that whole piece, so we're going to add to it. I'll put some text below. Let me finish this up, then we'll get ready to print it. All right, I think I got my <laughs> my speed and my power set right, and I got it laid up. So let's go ahead and get back on the laser here. I've already framed it, and let's hit. And and what you can do is you can hit preview, and it shows you what it's going to do, how it's going to do it. And that's, you just hit play, you can take this, this is showing you what the laser is going to do, the, the route it's taking, and it's saying it's going to take an hour and 11 minutes, and that's, that's probably fine, providing I got everything right, so let's go ahead and hit start. There it goes. Don't look at the laser, guys. Don't look at it. You ain't got your glasses on. And I will be back when this is done. Let me show you what happened over here. Apparently, the settings weren't right. And this is what happened. It was not even close to light enough. And I restarted the job and it still wasn't. So I got something off. The nice thing is, if you leave it, where it sets, you can stop the job, you can change the settings and start it over, and the laser will go right back to where it was and start over. And it'll just go over top of it. Alright, I'm gonna hang these LED lights while I'm waiting on this job to print and waiting on the new beds for the dogs. You'll see those later on. Uh just got these little things you stick up, and then I'm gonna run it up around the top. I don't know what I'm going to do in there. And then hopefully across, up top there, and then back. Should be enough. It's 100 feet, I think. I don't remember. Your new beds are here, boy. Well, let's check them out. Lily, you going to come in? I had the vacuum on. She probably won't come in the rest. There she is. We got your new beds you want to see. Oh, it's one of them where when we open them, it'll blow up real big. Yeah, what are these? All right, let's open them. You're going to love these, boy. Oh. It's got 95 packages. Joy Elf. Don't know. He don't hear nothing. That vacuum cleaner didn't bother him. Alright, here's the first one, Lily. Come here, Lily. She'll be in and out 50 times. Alright, what do we do here? Don't want to cut it.
What's what's it got? Must be a liner. I don't know. Here it comes. Is this the mattress? Well, there's something. This is the part that probably goes, Poof. well, look what you got with it. You got a toy. He says, I'm too old for toys. Oops. Well, they look better than that in the picture. No way. We got to blow up or something. That's it. Well, maybe I will need these beds. Well, that's false advertising, if i ever seen it. Well, I guess we will be using these. All right. I guess that's, that's good. Oh, this goes inside there. Okay. Has to, because they don't want to lay on no vinyl. Doesn't come with no pictures. Okay. Now, I'll come back, guys, when I get them all set up. Lily's not scared anymore. All right, here's an update. That's looking good, man. That's a wall hanger. Hasn't printed the text yet. Man, I'm in the middle. I just started hanging these lights. What did they do? The little sticky things fell off. Well, them suck. I was afraid of that. All right, well. Well, look at your new beds. I even put your smelly blankets on there, rubbed them on there, and you're still on the floor. They don't like nothing new, but I guarantee you, in 20 minutes, they're both going to be in them. And yeah, they fit good on them beds, so that's good. As long as they don't have any trouble getting in and out of them, they shouldn't. Come here, Lily. Try to get in your new bed. She's, she's afraid of my uh, tripod. Lily, check out the new bed. Man, he's still not feeling good, but he's better. He got up last night, and he ate all the rest of Lily's food, the carrots and everything. That's what you do. You just leave it in the bowl. They'll eat it eventually. Lily, get in your new bed. It'll take them a while to figure them out. Not too long. You gonna get in there, Lily? Once you're in there, you won't want to leave. She's like, yeah, but she, she's gonna go. Get up in there. Here. Get up in there, baby girl. Look how soft. Here, get up in there. Get up in there. You can get up in there. She don't know what to do, but she wants to. She knows what they are. Get up in there. Good girl. Your stinky blankets in there, so you know that it's what that uh, what that is. Oh goodness! All right. Well, you'll figure them out. All right. It's been 15 minutes. Oh, I knew it. I knew it wouldn't take. Look at that. Look at that, boy. Look at brother. He figured it out. Stole your bed, but he figured it out. That's a lot better, ain't it, boy? Yeah. I just hope Lily can get in there okay. I need to take that little divot that's where Waldo's head is and put it this way. You'll figure it out, Lily. It ain't that much higher. That'll smoosh down. She's been sniffing at it. 
Oh, look at that. That's a happy boy there. You got a smile on there, buddy. And you know what? It had two squeaky toys in there. And I'm like, they're too old. They ain't going to want them. And I squeaked it. That boy snatched it out of my hands and took it outside. Don't know what he did with it. I got the other one. Give it to Lily. She, he took it away from her. So I would say Waldo is on his way back. We're going to have to change the name of this from the dog apartment to the dog penthouse. It is hereby known as the dog penthouse. Okay, I got to go make a new sign. I'll be back. All right, I don't think there's going to be enough of this. I knew I would end up having to buy more. If you just press them on real good, they don't come off. Man. You know, this reminds me of being married, hanging Christmas lights. Because if you're not married, you ain't going to hang no, ain't no dude going to hang Christmas lights. That's a woman thing. Okay? Ain't no dude going to go out there and say, you know what, I'm going to hang Christmas lights today. Yeah. No, we don't do it. Well, most dudes don't. I ain't saying that's bad if you do. Okay, it's a little humped because of that camera. I don't know. I might make a good part of it. Let's get these up here where we can work with it. I got 862 of these little pieces of paper laying around. I'm going to show you guys that El Camino in a minute here. But I'm forcing you to enjoy this as much as I am. Uh, uh. Now, if you're trying to get stuff on tight, making that noise will multiply it by six. So you want to make that noise. Okay. <clears throat> and always do it again. And it's all twisted up. Oh my goodness, this is uh, Christmas lights. You're like, why you got them on before they're hung up? Well, I wanted to make sure they worked, and I was too lazy to unplug them. All right. I knew that Waldo would be the first to get in that bed. I'm kind of worried about Lily. She's not real good on her feet, so I don't want her to get tripped up on that. But uh, I think she'll be fine. She's scared of everything that moves or don't move. And she's just scared of everything except her dinner plate. She ain't scared of that. All right, I am not going to make you guys suffer through all this. I just needed another clip, man. You know, it's Dogtober. All right, when I come back, these will be hung as far as I got. It may make it. I don't think it's going to make it all the way across. It could, but I doubt it. And then I'll show you this El Camino. And I got to tell you, it looks good. All right, that's as far as I got. Obviously, I can't reach that without having to move some lasers. Man, I didn't think of that. But anyway, let's check this out. Let me get these things out. All right, now I just downloaded this picture from the internet. You guys seen what I did with it. And it came out like that. Isn't that cool? And by the way, that is my dream car. That is what I want one day. A 66, that's my birth year. That would be great, but it doesn't have to be a 60s model. Anywhere all the way up to 19... 77 so you guys know i don't ever ask for money i don't ask for nothing but if one of you happened to be filthy rich and just felt like doing something crazy i'll take one of them that's the only thing any kind of el camino just kidding <laughs> no i'm not you could buy me one if you wanted 
So that looked at, that came out pretty good. Now you remember how all that was dark up here and how I, I used my brightness to get rid of that? See? Nothing printed. All that would have done is made the picture look bad, but it left the bottom and it, uh, you know, gives it the effect of the ground. That is really cool. It engraved, you know, it's, this is probably the best one I've done so far. And, you know, it's engraved in there. I don't know if you can see from the angle of the camera, but that came out really cool. I am hanging that one up. Now, as I get better, I will put in, and it's not totally centered. Uh, I didn't, I have to, what I need to do is get these, these honeycombs and these beds and, and these blazers permanently, you know, mark, mark where they're, where they're level because I don't know where level is once I set it on there. It's hard to tell, but once I get all that done, and that's coming, uh, get a lot of stuff like that. Those kind of things sell if you want, if you were into selling things like that. So, man, that's beautiful. I like it. Might have been, I think that was a red car. So, it, you know, I think that come out just fine. There's a lot of detail in that, a lot. All right, guys, we gotta we got to cut this off because i got to edit this thing up, get it out, do a podcast, and uh, I will have a link to the Furry Tales Rescue in the description. If you feel like donating the link, there's three different links in there, three different ways to do it. Uh, do not send money to me. I, you shouldn't have my PayPal anyway unless you were to go back to a very old video because I'm not going through 1,200 videos, whatever I got, to take it off. But... Uh, I don't want it to my account. Not that I would keep it, but I don't want the tax nightmare that goes with getting those donations. Uh, you got to prove what you did with it. It's just uh, my accountant last year was ready to kill me. So I don't want to do that no more. So thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails. Let's get one more look at those pups. <laughs> Great caught you. You got your bed back and she's in it. Yeah, I know you'd figure it out. You like that? Well, don't you guys be knocking them off there? That's, I don't think they're going to come off. Good girl, Lily. Yeah, those, that's your bed. The brother said it's too soft. I got to get up. Okay, you enjoy. I knew she'd figure it out.